Hi everybody, it's Jennifer with creativecricketdesigns.blogspot.com and I have another video for you guys. Today I am doing a non-fall or non-autumn layout. Um, I decided on Friday that I wanted to use my Imagine um, because I was inspired by this cartridge to make this girl. Now unfortunately, once again, uh, my Imagine kind of let me down. Um, I wanted to make this little duck um, tube or whatever a different color and the swimsuit a different color and the goggles a different color but of course it wouldn't let me. But I just went with the flow of it and I was like fine whatever I'll just work around it which is fine. So I used the Best Friends cartridge and I also used the Hopscotch cartridge. So these are the two that I used for my layout today. And what I did, or those are the two Imagine cartridges that I used. So I have a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock. It's craft. I have some stitching around the top, um, most of it. I have this piece that's going to go right here, so I didn't even stitch down there because I'm going to cover it up anyways. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and put this layer on there. And this layer it probably is... 2 inches by 12 inches. Let me double check. Yes. 2 by 12. This is going to act as my sand. For my layout. Okay, I did go ahead and ink around the edges using the... Um, color box cat's eye chalk ink so I did do that um, I also have a circle which is cut at nine inches for this circle image I use the color palette on the hopscotch cartridge along with my title and I went to the back well, actually I did it on my imagine I just scrolled through it um, not for this, I guess. I didn't do it off of this one. It might be off the best friend one. Hold on. Yeah, I chose. So for this one, I used the color palette, which is always at the back of the cartridge. And then I printed this one out. So this is a 9-inch circle. Using the color palette, I chose a color that would go with my little girl in her little duck tube. So I have that, and that's going to go on here as well, right about here. So I'm going to go ahead and get some ATG on that and get that adhered. We're going to go right about there. Okay, then I have my waves, and I actually use this from the SpongeBob cartridge. And I have it cut at 1.36 by 9.5, and, and I actually have two of them because it wasn't long enough, but I didn't want to make it too long where it was cutting it off. So I'm going to go ahead and get this adhered to my page, and then I will just cut off what I don't use. Okay, so it's going to go like that. And then we'll just get out our paper scissors and just trim off the excess. And then those will go in the garbage. Okay, so we have that. And then I did do the layers for my swimmer girl. As you can see, and then I just use some foam squares in between the layers. And she's going to go right about here, like she's standing in the sand, and then the beach is, you know, behind her or whatever. So we have that, but I want to put my photo mats on here first. This is a pattern from the Hopscotch cartridge. 
And what I did is I cut it at, oh, what did I cut it at? I think I might have did the three by five size that you can choose from your Imagine. Pretty sure that's what I did. And then I just cut it down to the four by six. My white layer is four and a quarter by six and a quarter. And then what you would do is you would put in a picture that is three and three quarters by five and three quarters to get it to fit inside your picture frame. So it would go like that. And then I have my title. In this part of my reach, I'm going to go ahead and just use my Zig 2A glue pen and get them all adhered. But I'm going to go ahead and set them up first. And once again, for the color of my title, um, I use the Life's a Beach cartridge. I use uh, the font from there. And then I went to my Imagine. I put them both, my Imagine. I put my Life's a Beach cartridge into my Imagine along with the uh, Hopscotch cartridge. So I used the colors to match my pattern paper in here. So I just pulled some of the colors from that to create my letters. And my letters I believe are cut at one inch. But one second and I can look at my cheat sheet. They're cut at three quarters of an inch. So it's going to go on there like that. Separate them out a bit, and then I'm going to go ahead and adhere them. And then what I actually wanted for this layout was a pool. I didn't want a beach or a lake, um, but I didn't find any cuts using a pool. So this picture is going to go right here, which is uh, we got an underwater camera when we were um, on our vacation in Florida. And surprisingly, they're not that badly priced. Um, you can find them, I think Walmart had, the one that we we got, Walmart had it, um, but they didn't have it in stock, so we just went over to Target and got it. And it was like 120 bucks, 130 bucks at Walmart, so it's actually not that bad of pricing, right? You know, considering that they probably were a lot more when they first came out. And then I have another picture that's going to be right here, but it's on my husband's laptop and he has been crazy using it so I haven't had a chance to go on and get that picture from his laptop um, to print out to put in here but it's of her um, standing on the edge of the pool with her little pink floaty um, in her swimsuit so that one's gonna go right here so I just thought I would share that with you guys I'm gonna go ahead and at least get the one picture in here right now and then once my husband is not on this computer or have it with him, I'm going to go ahead and get that picture and then I'm going to put it right there. So then the picture will go just in the center like that. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and actually I'm going to adhere her as well. And I'm not going to pop that her up because I've already got her um, on some... She's already kind of 3D, so... I'm just going to leave her as is. She's going to go right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to adhere the title off camera. I'll probably do a little bit more doodling around the circle here. And then that layout will be completed. So I thank you very much for watching and have a great day.